Should dual woofers be out of phase? This question comes from Jose in San Jose. It must be Jose City, <laughs> San Jose, California. Hey Paul, I'm a do-it-yourself speaker builder on Facebook. Congratulations. One member has a subwoofer box that he's building with two subwoofers on opposite sides of each other and no center baffle dividing them. Should they be wired out of phase or push-pull? I personally do not like separating the woofers in such a signal cabinet, which closely resembles magnet-to-magnet uh, -magnet isobaric. I also feel that he does not have enough airspace. Fair enough. So, we, this is my old partner Arnie Newdell's greatest creation. This, this speaker is, not perhaps, this speaker is the best sounding loudspeaker I have ever heard in 45 years of, of doing this, by far. And uh, you can see some of it here. And this is, this is the speaker that we will be basing our own speakers on as we, we develop it. Now, Arnie uses a, a Bollinger Gravener uh, mid-range ribbon. Um, Bollinger Gravener is no longer in business. Uh, Dave Gravener uh, unfortunately passed away. Uh, and we have an even, uh, Arnie and I were working on a new mid-range driver which just got completed. And this thing, whoa, where do you find out about that? Arnie would have just been in love with it. It's, it's, a, it's an AMT folded mid-range ribbon and we'll put a stack up. And then, then you have these ribbon tweeters, a mid-bass coupler, which is going to be one of the secrets, one of the keys to this, this speaker. Anyway, not here to give you a pitch on speakers. But this is Arnie's speaker. And we will be duplicating not so much its shape, but ours is going to look a little similar. It'll be probably one, one will be like a six foot tall, another one will be about this size, which I, I don't know, I'm 5'11", so how tall is this? Four or five or something? But the reason I'm showing this to you is because uh, in answer to Jose's question, you've got the woofer down here. Now this is a side firing woofer of which you know, it works. I, I've never been a big fan of side firing woofers. I, I prefer separate subwoofers if we can, but they do work. And as I said, this is the best sounding loudspeaker I've ever heard. So they certainly can work. And this, this woofer uh, uh, is the same as the woofer on the other side. And so Jose's first question is whether or not the speakers need to be in phase or out of phase. Well, at the frequencies that a woofer, uh, this low woofer, this is a 12 inch woofer, at the frequencies it works at, in phase. Because if they are out of phase, meaning as one pushes out, the other pushes in, and you get this sort of push-pull uh, uh, seesaw motion, the inside of the box, it's, it's not going to... It, I mean, there's a reason to do it, which I'm not going to get into, but the, here's the problem. At low frequencies, and this is a low frequency driver, in the room, you're going to get cancellation. Because if it's, if it's out of phase, if one is moving this way and the other is moving that way, when those two waves meet, you're going to get cancellation of the base frequencies. Now, you can get away with it. For instance, on, on the front here, I told you about this mid-base coupler. That's a six and a half inch uh, self-powered driver. We'll probably use an 8 in, in the one that we're going to produce, but re regardless, this, this covers uh, 120 hertz or so up to about 300, and this is out of phase. So it forms a dipole, so that as opposed to a bipole. So a bipole is both speakers going out at the same time, one in the front, one in the back. A dipole is this push-pull sort of motion that you, and the same with the ribbon. A ribbon is a dipole because in the back here is open. So as it pushes forward, the back pulls. That's a dipole. And our mid-base coupler is going to be a dipole from 100 hertz on up. But if you start going below 100 hertz, which of course this big woofer over here, this 12-inch woofer is doing, you need to make sure that it is in phase. Otherwise, within the room, you will cancel out the bass frequencies you're trying so hard 
to get, and that's something you don't want to do. Good luck with your speakers. I love people that do it themselves and try and learn about this stuff and, and get into it. Uh, that, that's, that's just terrific. Good for you. And thank you for the question. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.